Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new to me, kindly click on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel free of charge so that you don't miss anything on this channel what if i tell you that the abrahamic religions in africa is most likely the reason why many of my fellow african brothers and sisters rejecting the existence of god yes i think it is in this video i will be sharing with you how i feel the abrahamic religions making some of my fellow africans rejecting the existence of god based on what these religions preach and why the african atheist should embrace their ancestral faith rather than doing nothing or not believing in God outright. I understand what these Abrahamic religions must have done to their view on the existence of God. The wise, the deep thinkers, and the ones who base his or her life on logical reasoning may likely disagree with the explanation of who God is from the perspective of these Abrahamic religions. You may be wondering what Abrahamic religions really means. Judaism Christianity, Islam, and the Baha'i faith are called Abrahamic religions because they all accept the tradition of the God known as Yahweh in Hebrew and Allah in Arabic that revealed himself to Abraham. So, based on my own personal opinion and having studied what this faith preach in contradictory to one another, I am of the opinion that they are the reason why some of my fellow Africans get confused on the existence of God. Let's take a look at some of these facts. Let's take a look at what Christianity and Islam preach. First of all, many Christians believe that Jesus is God himself. As there is this popular saying which says Jesus is Lord. With reference to John 13, verse 13, which says, You call me Tisha and Lord, and you say, Well, for so I am. Some also believe that Jesus is a son of God, with reference to these two verses from the Bible. John chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me and first John chapter 2 verse 22 
and 23. Who is a liar? But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. So, on the contrary, Muslims believe that Jesus, who is known as Anobi Isa in Islam, is a prophet, that he is not God, and he is not a son of God. Let us take a look at some verses in the Quran about who Jesus is. Quran chapter 9 verse 30 says, The Jews say, Ezra is the son of Allah, and the Christians say, The Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouth. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved before them. May Allah destroy them. How are they deluded? Quran chapter 5 verse 75 also says, The Messiah, son of Mary, was not but a messenger. Other messengers have passed on before him. And his mother was a supporter of truth. They both used to eat food. Look how we make clear to them the signs. Then look how they had deluded. Likewise, Quran chapter 19 verse 91 and 92 that the attribute to the most merciful a son and it is not appropriate for the most merciful that he should take a son as you can see these are the few contradictions among several others between these abrahamic religions that are supposed to be saying the same thing but unfortunately, reverse is the case. So my brother atheist, most especially African atheist, I understand your understanding on what these Abrahamic religions preach. But trust me, God exists. And he has given each land of this world a way to know him and relate with him. Those that turn religion to a money-making venture are the problems. So I say, instead of being an atheist, embrace your ancestral faith for you to always be guided spiritually. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel free of charge so that you don't miss anything on this channel. Until we see again, get a better life.